Welcome. In front of me, I have MAs with BIP5, and I'm gonna show you how to enable the phone notifications for this watch on the iPhone. Basically, if you want to receive the notifications uh, from your iPhone on your watch. Before we start, if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on your watch, your watch needs to be paired with your iPhone via the Zap application. And once the devices are paired together, we can continue. And now we need to make sure that the required permissions are allowed for the Zap application and your iPhone uh, to send the notifications to your watch. And to do it, we need to open the settings on our iPhone. So tap on settings icon to open the settings. Okay, in the settings, find the Bluetooth option and tap on it. And here you should see a list of my devices and on this list there should be Amazfit BIP5. Once you find it, tap on the info icon next to it. And here is the option we need, share system notifications. This option needs to be enabled for the notifications to work. If you don't see this option here, close the settings for now, open the Zap app, and wait until it's done uh, loading, then tap on profile. You should see your MAs with BIP5 on, uh, on the list of my devices. Tap on it. Here find the notification and reminder. Tap on app alerts, for example, and turn on the app alerts. And once you turn them on, wait for a couple of seconds. And you should see the pop-up about the required permissions. And if you see the pop-up, tap on allow to allow the permissions. And once you allow all of the permissions, you can go back to settings, Bluetooth, and you should see the search system notifications. Make sure it's enabled. Then go back to main page of settings, find the uh, Zap app on the list, tap on it, and make sure that the Bluetooth is enabled. Once it is, close it, and now we can open the Zap app again. Tap on profile, select our MAs for the BIP5, tap on notification and reminder, and here we have the app alerts, incoming SMS, incoming email. First, let's tap on app alerts. And here we can turn on the notifications for specific apps. As you can see, we have only a few apps on the list. But I believe, uh, basically, when you receive the notification from the app, it will appear on the list. So let's try to send myself, I'm gonna try to send myself a message on Discord. And uh, when we receive it on our iPhone, it should appear on the list of apps there. So let's try to do it. As you can see, we got the notification on our iPhone. Now I'm gonna open this app up and see if it's gonna uh, appear. So we're gonna tap on profile, bit five, oh, go back, bit five, notification reminder, app alerts. And as you can see, Discord appeared. So this list will basically gradually fill in after you install the app. Uh, and once you find the app you want to enable the notifications for, tap on the uh, switch next to it to enable it. And how it works is basically if it's enabled and you receive the notification from that app, that notification will be forwarded to your watch. If it's disabled, it won't. So basically you can uh, select from which apps you want to see the notifications on your uh, watch. Okay, so once you enable the app alerts, you can also enable the alerts for the SMS, so the messages. Then we have the uh, email also. So if you have the email address or rather uh, not address, yeah, email address, but uh, email notifications on your iPhone, and they will appear right here on the watch too, if you enable it. Okay, and now we should be able to receive the notifications. So I'm gonna send myself another message on Discord. As you can see, we got it on our iPhone and also on our watch. And that's how you enable the phone notifications for this watch on the iPhone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.